All right, so what I got here is a, a set of chargers, a set of devices. I uh, got my Mavic Mini drone and the controller and the hub, charging hub. And I have a little USB tester here. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is collect a bunch of data, uh, mainly to determine the performance of these chargers to determine you know how long it's going to take to charge each of the different batteries uh, but the main reason I'm doing this is uh, there was a uh, if you have an Android phone and you're connecting it up to the RC for the Mavic Mini it turns out the RC itself charges the connected device so I've been using an LG phone as well as a uh, Lenovo tablet and uh, sure enough when you connect those up to the RC and turn the RC on it'll charge the device so I wanted to know how much actually w the current uh, wattage essentially coming out of the RC draining that battery down while I'm actually using the system so I bought this little device here and I'll show you how that works and then uh, I'll collect a bunch of the data and then we'll get it all plotted out. So the testing, I'm going to use a bunch of these just what they call wall warts. These are from different companies. They're they as low as a, a 501 amp, so that's 5 watts. This is I think a 10 watt, about a 15 watt. This is kind of a smart uh, act, uh, adaptive fast charger. Hey, right, another just plug-in simple outlet here. I think this is a again another 10 water and then this one from DJI which is used with the Mavic Mini is a quick charger and uh, it can adapt to smart batteries and charge things quicker than a normal passive wall charger like this. So we'll test all these out now test each of the uh, adapters, plugging that in with USB to the battery that's in the drone, the battery that's in the controller, and the batteries that are in the uh, charging hub, and collect data for each of those. I'll also collect data on the charge rate I'm getting for two phones and two tablets. So this is what this device looks like. You just plug it into a regular one of these uh, wall chargers. Uh, the screen comes up basically five volts is the basic power coming out of the device and I don't have anything connected to any of the outputs. Now there's two different outputs here. Uh, it's plugged into the the uh, the wall like with a regular USB-A connection but there is a micro USB input here which I'll be able to use later. So, so there's several uh, screens on here. One of them is a blank screen. You hit this upper right button here. You get the Chinese version of the main screen. Click it again you'll get the English version. You can see there's voltage, current, there's power which is basically voltage times current and then you get ohms. As, uh, using ohms law you can get up the, the ohms value there. Uh, it'll calculate watt hours. It'll calculate capacity uh, as you're using it and you can also clear that so I th if I think I double uh, click the capacity zeroes out of a triple click you can see the uh, watt hours clears out and if you trip quadruple click you'll clear that timer there so you see that it clears all out there if I just hit another one click and I go to another screen you can see the voltage in the current is much larger and then you got your watt, watt hours, amp hours over on the right and the timer. Another click will give you a little different display. This will give you a display of what's going on with the data lines on the USB cable as well as the other information that we just talked about. <clears throat> there is a over voltage protection that you can set using this menu. There's also one for an under voltage and there's one for overcurrent protection and then you're back to the normal blank screen. 
So for the doing the testing, I had it on this setting here and all I was doing is marking down the volts, the amps, and the um, equivalent watts, which it just calculates itself for you. So pretty neat little device. All right, so I'm going to plug in a just a regular phone into the outlet here and you'll see yeah, you can see on the on the phone itself the charge you know lightning bolt light is on so it is charging the phone and if you look at the tester here it's putting out uh, the charger itself is putting out 5.15 volts at 0.76 amps and again you can calculate over on the right there it's three it's equivalent to 3.91 watts going into the phone again this is a 5 watt charger so you wouldn't expect it to get more than 5 watts coming out for this particular one. Now if I try any of the other chargers you'll get different results because they got a little different capacity. So I think now that you understand how this thing works I'm just going to go through and test all these individually and we'll put up a chart. Alright, and this was one of the main things I wanted to demonstrate. So I got the controller turned on from the Mavic Mini. If we look on here, we got voltage coming in, 5 volts, 0 amps. I'll plug in one of the phones first, see what we get. You can see we're at 4.9. The phone's perking up saying Okay, it's recognized charging. And we're charging at 0.44 amps on that phone. Now the, <clears throat> the spec on the Mavic Mini controller is it's required to put out point, up to 0.5 amps to support the USB connection. That's per the Android spec. So they're just doing what they need to do to adhere to that specification. I'll try plugging in the tablet now. Let's see if that's any different. So that's charging at 4.65 volts at 0.49 amps. So that's pretty much full amperage and that comes out to 2.27 watts. So that's what's going to be delivered out of the RC to your Android phone or tablet while the uh, RC is connected power down the RC and charging stops. Alright, hope that's helpful. Have a good day.